So Paul Mitchell sent me a whole bunch of tools to try out. Okay, so we have a ton of Marcel iron. So I love using a Marcel iron. I'm usually partial to a larger iron, but we have all different sizes. So we have a smaller one, a medium size, and we have the large guy here. So let's talk about the stats of this iron. All of these irons have the same stats, just different sizes. So let's talk about the first thing it has a locking temperature dial. Cool thing about that is that uh, the temperature is gonna lock in so you can't accidentally turn it while you're styling the hair. It also has a nine foot professional length swivel cord, durable safety stand. A lot of you guys, if you've had an iron, the safety stand breaks off. The safety stand is this little guy, uh, this little guy right here. Also a one year warranty from date of purchase. So first thoughts straight out of the box, the thing that I'm actually really liking about this iron is the fact that not only does it have a lock for the temperature gauge, but the temperature gauge is not digital. The thing I like about that is the fact that I don't have to reset the temperature every time. I can just turn the iron on and it's set at the temperature that I'm looking for. You have a power switch right here and then you have your temperature uh, dial right here. Now, as a professional, this is just an easier, quick release. You can customize your tension. That's a lot harder with a spring-loaded iron to do that. We're gonna build a technique around this iron. So, we look at our inspiration. What I wanna do is I wanna do this haircut. I'm gonna use a razor to create this haircut. I believe it has a more lived-in feel. So, I wanna break down that haircut one second, tell you guys some things that I see when I look at a magazine. The first thing that I look at is the layers. How do the layers fall on the head? If they fall straight across on the head, then I know that everything was basically pulled straight out and cut. If they fall uh, shorter in the front to longer in the back, I know that things were over directed to the front to push that weight backwards. If it falls more to the front, then I know everything was over directed to the back. If you're a professional, you know these things, but you gotta look for that little bit of layer pattern in there. Then I look for maybe the elevation of the cut. How uh, high did they elevate it? How much weight is actually sitting in this cut? This haircut is nice and light throughout this area. So my belief is uh, everything was over directed up here or pulled straight out. I'm gonna be cutting with a razor so I know that I don't need to elevate it as much as somebody with scissors. So as a, a razor cut, what I'm gonna be doing is elevating it up, um, bringing all of this up, more of a concave feel to um, the section and I'm gonna chop into it this way to cut it. What that's gonna do is add those layers in there. Then she has a fringe. That's the next thing I wanna look at. How am I gonna cut that fringe? It's so lightweight uh, within this cut. You can see it right there, nice and light. So that's not gonna be uh, much. I'm gonna take a nice small triangle section out of the fringe area. I'm gonna pull that down and lightly with my razor, I'm gonna feather through that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. The blunt ends, I'm gonna cut with a razor as well. So all of this stuff, when I go through and I cut her baseline, I'm gonna do all of that with a razor as well. So um, I think that that's pretty much it. What I wanna do is I wanna get started with this technique. Like I said, Paul Mitchell sent me these irons, so I wanna use that at the end uh, to try it out. And then also, I'm gonna do this type of hair color on one of my upcoming videos as well, because they sent me some of the... some of their Pop XG. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna create more of this look um, with this as well. So that will be in an upcoming video, so let me know if you're excited about that. All right, let's get started guys, here we go. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with pretty basic sectioning. We're gonna do a triangle in the very front. That's gonna be our fringe area. I'm gonna braid that away. A little bit for presentation, but also so I don't kink up the hair too much in that fringe because sometimes it's hard to work that kink out. Then I'm going to go mid-crown all the way around to the recession point and clip that part away. That we're going to actually twist up so that it's nice and out of the way for the rest of the haircut. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, and that's basically going to create our sectioning for this haircut. Now we're creating more of a shag look. We're going to do it with the razor. It's going to have some disconnection through the interior part of the cut. So 
we're going to start off in the very center back. And I'm going to work a diagonal forward parting from high occipital bone to directly behind the ear. So now I'm going to go in with a product. Um, it's pure coconut and sunflower oil. It's called Prepare by Donald Scott. I'm going to use that for my razor cutting. Now notice the razor. I'm using the Donald Scott Twist, also available on freesaloneducation.com. And I'm sliding, creating a concave feel. So short to long layers. I take my vertical section straight out from the head. You can see no over direction. And I just glide that blade over top of it. Now, the reason I can do that over the dry hair is because of the prepare that I put on it. So everything comes straight back. And then I slide and create that concave, almost a scoop feel to the hair. Then I let it, let down the rest of the section. So you could see um, how that's going to overlay over those short layers. The whole point of this cut is to create a shag effect without having very, very short layers on the top of the head. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop the complete opposite direction. That's going to give me a nice disconnection over those short layers. But the great part about it is that you're still going to have those longer pieces. So when you go in with the Paul Mitchell Marcel iron that we're going to use later, you'll get to have those longer pieces to actually curl, but you'll see the separation and the shag effect of the cut. So everything's still coming straight back, but now I'm just scooping underneath and following up to that high point and leaving that disconnection. So whole purpose of this cut is remove interior weight. It's great for thick hair. It's great for medium hair. If they had fine hair, I would just do it in a less extreme way. I probably wouldn't take those interior layers as short but you would still get a great um, effect as well. So notice every section I do, I put the prepare on before I start going through. Now we're gonna do a signature point cutting technique with this razor. It's the only razor that can really do this because it has a cutting uh, blade on both sides. It has a 100% cutting side and a 25% texturizing side. So what I do is I go through, I bring the section up, find my guide at the bottom, and I work that uh, tool back and forth over top of my fingers and it gives me a point cut effect, um, but also those really PC layers that I'm going for in this look. So prepare the hair, and then I go through, over directing everything up. But you'll notice in the picture, what I talked about was how the layers kind of move uh, back off of the head a little bit. So what I'm doing is over directing the hair over top of the face, and that's giving me movement with those layers. It's pushing the weight to the back of the head. So removing the layers, maximum elevation, but then also uh, pushing that weight to the back so I don't just get standard square layers in the side. Now I'm gonna let down the top. I'm gonna grab a guideline from the recession point. So prepare the hair a little bit, comb that product through, grab that piece of hair as my guide. This is very simple. Elevate it up and then work through with that point cutting technique. Key thing here is guys, like we are working with dry hair, but you wanna make sure that you prepare the hair and then you also are using a very fresh blade. This blade hasn't been used uh, on any other guest, so it goes through nice and sharp. There's a big controversy about cutting uh, with a razor on dry hair. I personally do not feel there's any difference between cutting with a razor on dry hair and cutting with a scissor on dry hair as long as you have a brand new razor blade. Now, will it damage the hair a little bit? If you don't prepare it in the right way, it could rough up the cuticle. So you wanna make sure you use things like prepare. So I'm not actually cutting 100% dry hair, I'm cutting uh, hair that is prepped and ready to go. So you can see those layers already coming to life. So now we're gonna do the fun part, which is cutting the fringe. So we outlined the shape, we created the shape. Now I'm just gonna use the edge of the Donald Scott twist and just go through and draw the line that I want for the fringe. Then when I see the little pieces hanging off there, I'll go through and just pinch cut and then you've got your finished look. So going through there, I saw a little bit that I wanted to add to the fringe on the other side, so we add that in. The great thing about razor cutting is it's such a free form way uh, to go about a cut. So now we're gonna use the Paul Mitchell Marcel iron. This is the story of the video. Uh, you guys can uh, join the giveaway uh, if you comment below that you would like it, and also go like the Instagram. But it's a really great tool. Um, it's got a really nice motion. You can see how easy that turns in my hand. And that's really what it's all about. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna use a little more hair protection for the styling process. Portion. So we have our Marula Oil Light. This is a rare oil dry mist. It helps protect the hair, condition it, add shine. It's really, really lightweight. We get that separation from the style. So I just do an overlay mist and I comb it through the hair and then we're ready to go on with our style. 
So now I use the Marcel iron, create the curl. You'll see I leave out the very tip of the ends just until the very end. Then I tuck it in there real quick to give it a slight bend, but to also not quite have as much curl as the rest of the hair does. So we're gonna continue that technique pretty much all the way through. Um, you'll notice the difference in elevation from where the crown area is being pulled down to where it's coming straight out from the head behind the ear. So that's gonna give me more volume on the side, less volume on the top. I really like that look. I like how it expands out from the ear and stays a little bit tighter to the head on the top. But if you wanted more volume, I would break that section up into two and continue your way up uh, towards the crown area. So you can see I stretch just the ends of the hair a little bit, but I'm allowing the curl to cool um, in the mid shaft area of the hair. And the reason I do that is a lot of people will just kind of run their hands through something as soon as they curl it, but it's still in the process of cooling down. And if you run your hands through hair when it's warm, then it's gonna set wherever you last place it right before it cools off. So you wanna make sure that you just let it set. Then once it's set, you can run your hands through it at the very end to, to really place it in the style you're looking for. So notice I wanted to pop a little extra volume into the back. So I did break that section up a little bit so that I would have a little more volume in the crown. No one wants a flat uh, crown in the back. So this is where I'm working in those shorter little pieces. So I'll just kind of tuck them in, give them a little bend and curl, but I'm not actually gonna curl them as much. This is the 1.25 inch Marcel iron from Paul Mitchell. So, um, you know, this is the largest one that I have. There's also two smaller versions, a one inch and a 0.75 uh, inch curling iron. So you can really pick and choose. They also have spring loaded versions as well for people at home. Uh, so the link is in the description if you'd like to go uh, pick one of those up. So last couple sections, and then we'll have our finished look here. You can see um, it'll have more of a shag effect when I'm all done and I spray the product in there. But this is a really popular haircut. Shags are really coming back. It's not the old school shag where you have super short layers, almost looks like a mullet. This is definitely a more lived in look to it, but very weightless. And that's my, my key thing. Look at all the disconnected pieces that come over top there. So now we've let it cool off. We're gonna give it a little separation. We're also gonna go back in with the Marula Oil Light Dry Mist and uh, just gives me that finished style. So I hope you guys liked the video. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you have any questions at all. Uh, I'd be happy to answer them. And make sure you hit that subscribe button below before you forget. There's the look, guys. Thanks. All right, guys, so here is the end result. I hope you guys like it. I love all the movement, the waves that we created with the Marcel iron. You could see all these little disconnected pieces um, that came over top. That was from that scooping motion that we made with the razor. So really cool style um, created with the Marcel iron. If you wanna pick up one of these Marcel irons, then go to your local Paul Mitchell distributor and uh, or paulmitchell.com, I'm sure, and you can pick up one of these Marcel irons. Also, because I don't need all of these things, I'm gonna give one of these away. So if you would like to win one of these Marcel irons, post in the comments below that you're the one we should pick. And also run on over to Instagram and follow Paul Mitchell and at Free Salon Education. Let me know that you did that as well in the comments and that will give you better chances to win this. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below as well. And remember, we're gonna be coloring this mannequin with Pop XG coming up. So I hope you guys are excited about that. Maybe post if you have any special colors you'd like to see. Uh, we have a blonde mannequin, so we have a lot of different options. So I hope you guys like the video and make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now before the video is over. I'll give you a second. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget, check out freesaloneducation.com. We have over 600 videos. Also, use that code MattBeckVlog at checkout. Get 20% off a lot of different products on our web store. And make sure that you join our FSE Partner Program. That is a program where we do live classes for free for stylists. All you got to do is sign up. Go to fsepartner.com. 
you can sign up for that for free you'll get the alerts about the live classes and also if you are not a stylist and you like this cut and you're looking for a new hair salon go to our website hairsalonlocator.com that's where we put all of our fic partner salons so that you guys can find a great stylist to create this look for you thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video thanks